Greetings everyone and welcome back to the home safety hotline. We started out with bees, ticks, mice, and raccoons and have progressed to a whole new selection of horrible things that have plagued people's homes. From night wisps to night gnomes. We're gonna go ahead and get started now that we've finished the week and we're gonna get the weekend completed. What is Carol? I have no idea. I can't even begin to speculate and guess if she's not human or what she is. Uh, and what happened to the individual that was trying to tell us to get out while we could? And what happened to the prank caller? Sometimes maybe we don't want to know the answers to these questions, but they will bug us and tickle the back of our minds. Maybe we'll get answers in this episode as we go into the weekend due to a declining workforce. So let's get started. And I noticed this earlier, but it also says confirms that my human DNA is accurate. And after uh, watching my previous edits, this person here under the H of the hotline was not there before. I wonder if that's the person who went into the portal, the lady who we told not to do it. Uh, old emails from last time. Oh, yes, the hag hide I got for excellent accuracy previously. I guess I could always bypass. Uh, and then the Thunder Peak which is an actual cave system located in Utah here in the United States of America. So we're gonna, you know, just indicate that we've seen this just so we can get through it. And then we're gonna begin our Saturday. And uh, I'll try to be a little bit better about accurately reading these information so I can be as accurate as possible because we did start off with a bumpy start, but ended quite capably. Like, the more options I have, the better I am at identifying things. Yes, clock in, start the day. I am ready to help people identify their problems and hopefully have positive solutions because some of these solutions to these are just, sorry, that person's gone. Nothing you can do about it. Like, hobs aren't bad, but you can't get rid of them. When's Carol going to call? Carol! Do I have to start, like, opening them before they... Um, I still do have a handful of options available. Some, oh. Hi, is this Carol? Hi, Carol. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Wait, what? Continue thy, soon thy time, what? What is that? What does that mean, Carol? What are you gonna do to me? What? What is the fate of your employees? Oh, dude, just keep working for you. Okay. Ooh, looks like I have a, a warlock remnant. Warlock remnants are a residual presence often left behind by former warlocks, most commonly inhabiting older households. Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? Yeah, I thought he had the Fey flu, but the Fey flu didn't have any solutions. It was just kind of like, sorry, you're dead. Sucks to have that. Right? There is no cure. Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me, what to do to get rid of this thing? Because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Oh, is this a wine? Whatever it's called. Ho please hold. Please hold. Uh, was it a, a wine fairy or something? A wine sprite. Is that what this is called? 
Wine sprites are subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming wine. They are small, large-eyed, winged creatures with translucent skin that often appears red when they are feeding. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Homeowners infested with wine sprites commonly pour broken glasses and their wine having a rotten taste and smell. Wine sprites are not directly dangerous humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fey flu, and to be removed as possible. Wine sprites can be removed various common hospital pesticides. Um, I don't think it's a bat. Bats are a general term for variety of species of nocturnal flying mammals. Bats can be identified by their unusually large ears, wings, and dark fur. Bats most commonly find their way inside the home during the hibernation period before winter. Homeowners with a bat fish commonly report sounds of scratching or flapping at night. Sightings of a small dry pellet dropping. Bats are more dangerous than household pests given their ability to fly, bite, and spread disease. Um, you know what? But it's destroying your wine stuff in your cellar. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a hope and say that you have a wine sprite. I'm so sorry. Um, kill it. Kill it now before it spreads the fey flu. Wine sprite. Hope that works. All you need is just some pesticides to clean that issue right up. Alright. have a lovely image of that, whatever that is. Trolls! Fantastic. There's trolls now. Trolls are giant 12 foot the tall nocturnal creatures that normally are not seen in the home however during the winter they deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing homeowners infested with the troll will frequently all right that actually doesn't sound terrible uh home safety hotline what seems to be your emergency so uh i, I think something may have died inside my desk to high heavens and something is leaking out of it. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Something leaking out of it. You might have wood secretions. Stand by. Please, Please hold. hold. I was wondering when this would come to play. Wood secretions! Wood secretions are a pink, viscous, liquid substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. It is known to drip from wooden materials, such as furniture or walls, causing a sticky, pooling buildup. Wood secretions can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid translation of flesh if ingested. Keep animals and human children away from the secretions at all costs, as foul odor will be interpreted as a sweet, candy-like smell to them, making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. Um, is there anything else that I haven't seen? Oh, we know what Spriggans are. Spriggans killed that guy. Oh, he has a Spriggan tree. Uh, Spriggans are small, green, humanoid with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They are seen rarely in households and reside primarily inside trees. Um, no. It's not a reanimation. Although that sounds awful. Uh, deceased remains of living creatures. A puka. Pukas are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape of likeness of a household pet. They are known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. Uh, there is a show on Netflix called Hilda. A lot of these creatures are present and I wonder if a lot of these uh, beings are neighbor's doorway uh, if these beings are from um nordic or norse mythology uh, neighbors doorways are door frame like structures that can often appear in basements or cellars they are known to cause confusion if stepped through as well as parallelism fantastic bed hag i don't think it's a bed hag that's monsters under the bed fantastic we'll read about those later no, you know what? We're going to say it's wood secretions. It's probably the only thing that the kids are curious about. Wood secretions! Hope so! Uh, yeah, just take care of your desk. If it's an old wooden desk. I don't know if you know what the material was. Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? I think there's someone watching me. Outside, 
Something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you, hoping you'll be more helpful. Uh, I do not know what that could be, sir. Let me uh, confer with my data. Please, Please hold. hold. Um, let's see. Let me look up Spriggan and see if that helps at all with fruit and grass. Uh, homeowners are affected by... Uh, they are known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked. However, homeowners affected by Spriggan's commonly report rapid vine growth in and around their homes and feeling that the trees are watching them. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked in physical contact with one which would result in the growth of a sprig tree when the effect by affected within the affected individual. Uh, Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked. However, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a Spriggan. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water each night left in a clean dish on your porch. I'm guessing this is a Spriggan, but... It's not a leprechaun, I don't think. Uh, leprechauns are small humanoids covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables such as jewelry, silverware, and other precious metals. He didn't describe that, that's for sure. Um, nah, da, 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 da. not a bed hag that's outside. Autumn vines. Autumn vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house. No. He did mention fruit and trees and sprigs. It's probably a, it's probably a spriggan. Um, but it's definitely not a troll or a kobold. Um, where was that other thing that I saw? It's reanimation. Reanimations are deceased remains. Reanimations are any deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with reanimations commonly report foul smells, soil being trapped inside the home, and large holes in the ground appearing near or around the home. No, this is definitely a spriggan. Sir, I believe you have a spriggan. Um, be nice, don't kill anything, don't eat anything, and start offering it water. Of a spriggan. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked. However, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spriggan. Refrain from moving trees, flowers, or weeds. Don't hunt near the property. Okay, so uh, you might be stuck with this, sir. Just um, don't make it angry. Waiting on phone calls. Surprisingly quiet for a Saturday. <laughs> Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Um... Uh, yeah, I'll get right on that, ma'am. Let me, um, just put you on a brief hold. Please hold. Oh my gosh, you probably saw autumn vines. Uh, the pheromones autumn vines released in the air while non-toxic can often cause household accidents thanks to their blissful, dizzying effects. Autumn vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. To remove autumn vines from a household, locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home for an extended red parent vine. Pull this vine out by the roots and burn it. Prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meat substance to the ones beneath the soil. Who are these ones beneath the soil and why does this keep getting referenced? I don't know if I like this job anymore. I've only been here for a week. I think you have autumn vines, miss. And or sir. All 
Alright. Make some meat offerings. Burn the red vine. <laughs> Delicious red vine. Or Twizzlers. What would you prefer? Yeah. Why isn't Saturday more busy? I mean, I'm glad that this Saturday has been relatively quiet. Don't have to deal with any more of those prank calls anymore now that that guy's gone. Home safety hotline. What seems to be your emergency? Hi. Do you know how I got here? I'm... I I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. Oh, uh, yeah, please hold. Please hold. Uh, was this the neighbor's set door or whatever it's called? Uh, neighbor's doorways are door frame like structures. And we read about this. The danger in our neighbor's doorway do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if stepped through, the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activities such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human who comes through to the other side. Neighbor's doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. It is advised to utilize HSH doorway removal services. One can prevent neighbor's doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness and not letting one's mind wander towards wishing for alternate life paths. How fascinating. Um, I'm guessing parallelism, because... Uh... They don't that or it's a memory nymph. It's not a mirror nymph because they'll steal your face. Yeah, no, she knows who she is and she hasn't forgotten like everything. It's not a memory you wisp. I believe you have a neighbor's doorway in your home. Contact uh, HSH doorway removal services. We'll take care of that for you. I think. I hope. We can uh, uh, stop wishing for an alternative life. Just kind of be happy with the one you have, I guess. Make some all offerings of water, cheese, flowers, gold, you know, whatever. Keep everything away. I wonder if a memory wisp would help you with that. I hope so. Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? rotten eggs coming from my dining room and when I looked to see what it was I saw this awful disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big too, which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house because who knows how big this thing is. I mean my dog can't even lay down something that big. Big pile of crap. Rotten eggs. Hold please. Hold. Not a leprechaun, right? Because they steal stuff. Uh, leprechauns can also cause long-term damage to heaters and furnaces. Um, no. A few moments later. Trash gnome? Trash gnomes are subspecies of gnome with thick brownish-gray fur, frog-like eyes, and large gaping mouths. They are known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside them for both food and shelter. I wanted to trash gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tipped garbage cans, and loud crunching sounds at night. Trash gnomes are highly territorial once combed. While their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to inconvenient and painful circumstances such as the loss of a finger or nose while attempting to discard trash or remove a trash bag from their receptacles. They are also capable of spreading deadly diseases to humans such as rabies or tetanus. Well, rotten oaks, eggs would be a trash gnome. To prevent trash from home inside your cash, it is recommended to not let trash in their home to be idle for more than a day or two as their noses are highly sensitive to the smell. Um, yeah, is it a trash gnome or is it a reanimation? So she smells rotten eggs. It's a big pile of poop. You know, maybe it's a trash gnome then. She didn't say foul, she said rotten eggs. So, trash gnome. Hope so. 
I think you have a trash gnome. Call our pest removal services and we'll take care of that. If it is. If it's a reanimation, ugh, sorry. Can't do anything about that. Apologize to whoever you may have said. I'm waiting for the horrible fate that is going to come on Saturday. No, Sunday. After, after I complete Sunday or when Sunday starts, is Carol going to have those who live below the soil come and get me? Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? Hey, yeah, Paul here. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as freaking possible. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Itchy kids? You might have bed teeth. Uh, hold please. Please hold. Um, I mean, bed, bed hag? Let me see what a bed hag is. Pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as freaking possible, and every night it's the same story. You watch your kids with nightmares waking up at a 4 a.m. and begging to sleep. Okay, so. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures with an elderly woman like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, or other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night. I think you have bed teeth, actually. Bed teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Homeowners infested with bed teeth often report mild discomfort when sleeping, such as tickling or itching, and more rarely slimy acidic residue on their skin. Bed teeth are not directly harmful to most humans given their brief sleeping schedules. However, they tend to gradually grow sharper over time if left untreated, which can lead to infection. To prevent the growth of bed sheets, bed sheets and blankets should be washed regularly and inspected for rare, more persistent growths. Infested covers should be scrubbed thoroughly or disposed of entirely. Budget. Kids with nightmare. Oh, maybe. Um, it's what's that thing called? It's like the spider weave dream weaver. Dream weavers are large spider-like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. They also are known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They will only move into a household if no other spiders are present. Dream weavers are parasitic in nature and feed off the dreams of humans while they sleep. While this does not cause any direct harm to humans, it can lead to increased anxiety and the large webs they weave can often trap dust, pests, and children causing further complications. No? I mean, he's itchy. Nightmare is waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. And he's been keeping it clean. Definitely not a false artifact. Much, much, much later. Bed bugs, maybe, actually. Bed bugs are small extension for feeding on the blood of humans and other mammals, and their tendency to have it sleepy areas around the home owners and disabilities often import instances and she knows that sometimes it's laid outside of rashes. Bed bugs are not known to transmit any dangerous diseases and are relatively harmless to humans, however, the presence can often attract other pests in the home as well as a food source. And are therefore quite difficult to remove the advice you have issues pest removal services, so Bed bugs, maybe? Uh, I hope this is right, sir. Yeah, good job. Who knows? Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? Maybe you have a leprechaun since your heater's not working? Please hold. If you don't associate those two things together, but this might be a faster one. Leprechauns are small humanoids covered in brown 
long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables such as jewelry, silverware, and other precious metals. In addition to being a household nuisance, leprechauns' appetite for precious metals can also cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if they're not properly protected. Additionally, leprechauns can occasionally direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns, or joint replacement. Uh, solution leprechauns will move on to other feeding grounds on their own once they run out of food, but more proactive means of removal will require physical capture. If immediate removal is desired, it is recommended to utilize professional help via HSH's pest control services. Uh, sir, I'm gonna go on a limb and think you have a leprechaun. I hope. This is a long Saturday, considering how unbusy it is. That thing's freaky. Freaky deaky leprechaun. It's definitely not what we're told about it, but maybe they're romanticized in our culture versus what they really used to be. Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? I think some pranksters might be giving my wife and I a run for our money. Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night, I keep hearing this strange, whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think they're onto my tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? Uh, yeah, I think I can help you, sir, but you're not gonna He's like old. it. Clothes gone, whoopee cushion sounds. That sounds like you have a troll. Um, and they're deflating to come into your home. Sorry, sir. Um, definitely sending over the necessary info to handle this issue. There is a troll. It's in here somewhere. Troll. How do you get rid of trolls? An active troll will leave by morning once it has secured its bounty. It is recommended to install repelling fixtures such as UV lights to prevent future break-ins. Not just your porch light, sir. You need to install a UV light. If you see the troll, do not approach. Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? Hello, I saw your commercial and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Hmm. Uh, tea leaves, buzzing sound in your cabinets. I think I might know what that is, but uh, please hold. Please hold. I think that's a tea sprite. Mm -hmm. Great! It won't tell me, but I'm guessing it's a tea sprite for tea leaves and buzzing in the cabinet. I hope. Of course, they're still transferring files over when they couldn't do it in a rapid and quick thick completion. Tea sprite. Thank you for that, I hope, not terribly uh, difficult to determine uh, question. How many more of these do I have to do? I don't know how many in a day, but this is a, feels like a long Saturday, despite being relatively unbusy. Mostly because I had a couple that I just had no idea what the answers were. Oh, crap. Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? Hi, we need some medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so... Could you help us out sooner rather than later? Uh, yes. 
Uh, shortness of be uh, hold please. Please hold. Shortness of breath while sleeping sounds like you might have a bed hag. Um, great, because they talk about them stealing your breath while you're sleeping. So hopefully, it's just a bed. It's funny when you don't have the answers to choose from, you just kind of guess it does go a lot faster than having the information to work with. Bed hag. Didn't say they attack ch children specifically. Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? So, uh, I've been hearing this weird sound coming from the walls. Not exactly sure what it is, but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. Can you hear that? It's been on stop lately. I've replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything, but I cannot figure out where the sound is coming from. Uh, yeah, you might have whistling fungus. Please hold. Please hold. <laughs> Tell you the whole, that crazy insanity thing, and then hold, please. Whistling fungi. Whistling fungi are small mushrooms with gross, like many holes in their caps. They frequently grow through drywall gaps and cracks. Homeowners infested with whistling fungi often report a dissonant whistling sound coming from their walls. So, um, ma'am, I believe you have whistling fungi, and you need to evacuate your home immediately. They are generally non-harmless, but they have definitely damaged your home, especially if it sounds like they're singing in nice harmony. Get out now. You there? I well, hope she got out, because that call ended. Fun. Fun for everyone. Oh my god. Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? The pile keeps growing. Tell me how to get rid of it. The instructions you sent didn't work and it smells so foul. I'm hearing angry voices coming from the walls. They keep telling me to eat it. Please, I don't want to eat it. Don't make me eat What the fuck? I don't know what that was. Coming from the walls? Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? Um, hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. It, it smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Uh, hold please. Please hold. Do you have a reanimation? Um. Any piece of bargain. So they don't show any hold, but they do say foul smells, and it's not a hoard. Uh, let me read the puka if they stink. Or unusual fight, frightening pet behavior. Um, I think you might have a puka. Uh, yeah, I think you have a puka, ma'am. I'm sorry about your dog. That sucks. Pukas are awful. Media has made them to be silly creatures, but there's this makes them sound awful. Most of these seem sound to be like things that were created back in like the dark ages to explain things we could not explain. Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? Did you get turned into a smart mouse? Oh crap. Sorry, Flipper. I'll be asking for help, but you're total. Oh, that that's how we end the day. Uh, that was Saturday. That was stressful. At least I'm done for the day. I can go to bed with all the new nightmares. Oh crap! There's a giant hole in the middle of the screen now where that person was 
entry browser. Mail we'll read the mailbox first. Corbett, congratulations. Employee 36, we are happy to report that we are most pleased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. This is not a fun thing to read. What do you mean the soil is great? What do you mean the trial? What? Who are you things? What are you people? You even are people. Oh, the Glamour Stone. Today's daily coupon is for Glamour Stone. Whether you're simply too tired to concentrate or if you just want to look your best without the stress, our Glamour Stones are here to put you at ease. With our patented protective seal, our Glamour Stones have a 99.9% .9 reliability rating. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Wham Glam Thank You Ma'am. Keep up the great work, employee. Oh, it's only for a discounted price of $1,299.99. Fun. Thanks for the discount, corporate. You saved me $600? I meant for how much that thing normally costs, Ray? All right, what is this entry browser? Oh, it's all the horrible things that you can potentially have in your home. From animations to wood secretions and everything in between, Home Safety Hotline is here to help you. <sighs> okay, last day on the job. I'm probably going to get murdered or something. I wish you would tell me, like, what I uh, got wrong. Sunday, the last day of the week. The final preparation to be killed and murdered turned into a plant or whatever fate awaits me oh that's great it started a little janky is that why it showed me everything because it was like this is your last chance we're not going to show you anything else everything's a guess from here on out <laughs> you're dead thy trial hath begun what does that mean great 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 Home safety hotline, what seems to be your emergency? We are many, we are above, we are our followers of our queen. What are we? Please hold. Ants? Bees. We are many, we are above, we are followers of our queen. Bees! I'm gonna say you're bees! What does that mean? Showcase thy knowledge? Uh, I don't like this anymore. Hello? Safety hotline, what seems to be an emergency? Oh, please, please hold. you're an animation. Mm. Forge ahead. Uh, I don't like this. I hate this job, 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 I hate this job. Home safety hotline was seems to be an emergency. I am the beggar, I am the encroacher of the of the dry. I am friend to the water of the sky. Please hold. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water of the sky. 
Oh, are you a, what is it, a water? A rain nymph? Because you, like, you beg to be let in. I hope so. I think you're a rain nymph. How many of these do I have to answer? Press on, employee. What? How far down does this go? Oh, this is... Yeah, thank you for... Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is very... Uh, this isn't even a home safety... Yes? Answer your question. Ask your questions. Whoa. I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am Please I? Hold. Reanimation? I don't know. I don't know if these are right or not. Harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence and the forever the nuisance. What am I? Uh raccoon <laughs> uh, uh, I just want this to be over <laughs> I just want this to be over this is taking a quiz taking a test I'm gonna die at the end rejoice rejoice for what what am I rejoicing for why did I take this job I just needed to pay the rent Feed my cat. I know I don't have a cat. I just maybe cats can help keep away the darkness and these evil things. I want to be happy, but this is also terrible. <laughs> Ask your riddle. I am not afraid. I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. What am I? Please you hold. are a closet labyrinth because those are generally found in wealthy people's homes. Ah, that I remember. Jitter and jangle and make me feel like I did it wrong. <laughs> Expand thy mind. Do they fall into a below parallel world or like what? Home safety hotline, ask your riddle. <laughs> Companions of the gardens, we compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? You These are hold. the seed thingies. You tell people to kill themselves if you are destroyed, stepped on, or your food source is removed. You are a seedling. It's funny how, what a cute little subtle name you have for being such a murderous creature. Let go thy stilted soul. I don't wanna! I got things I gotta do still. I gotta water my dog and feed my plants, comb my teeth and wash my hair. No, brush my hair. Brush my hair? Comb my teeth and brush my hair? That actually kind of makes sense, but also not. Ask your riddle, strange being. Oh. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? I don't know. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. Please hold. What am I? Not a wood secretion or a patrol, traveling old trash, toilet, ticks, termites. 
I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? When you think about it, fire dances, it destroys, it comes upon with arrogance. Hooray! Oh, I've... Descend? I thought I've been, I've been descending through the earth and the dust. Ask your strange riddles. What am I? Put on Please hold. hold. Uh, you're the deliverance or whatever it's called? Oh crap, I don't remember what it's called. Dorch, it's to the Dorcha. I think that's what they're called. I, I know what you're talking about. I just don't know if that's what they're called. Is this right? My entities? Hello? Hello? <sighs> Ask my riddles. Oh! Hello! Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. What's in my promotion? You also earlier said prepare to descend. Descend into what? Really don't like this. Promotion in progress. Please stand by. Motion power switch on by. Transfer please close to Roger Carroll. Who is that? Oh yeah, I know, just put, am I gonna turn into something? I still kind of like being a human. Congratulations, all hail our new junior supervisor! What? <laughs> I don't know what to feel about that. That was the home safety hotline. In positive news, I'm the new junior supervisor. What that will entail, I'm not sure. But I think I did okay with the final test. I don't know. Those are a lot of terrifying things to have in people's homes. But what limited knowledge I have about um, fantasy creatures and the unknown of 
Western mythology, uh, many of those things seemed to be what you would have found in, well, many of the, I guess, European, Northern European kind of tribes and uh, assets like trolls, fays, sprites, spriggans. Actually, just about every single one of those things, except for like the standard bats, bees, ticks, flies, spiders. Those are all very normal. Uh, some of them I had never heard of, or they're not as popular, I guess, in myth the mythos of storytelling, like a dream weaver. Um, but, um, I did have a lot of fun. It was definitely for, you know, not a lot of visual movement and activity, just a lot of thought and processing that it was very, uh, it was very interesting just, you know, for how it definitely invoked anxiety and fear and concern, uh, not just for the concerned about identifying the problem correctly, but also learning about the details of many of these creatures. Cause you know, in mo most modern mythology, unless it's a horror specific, um, many of these creatures are seen in like a more positive kind of uh, uplifting tone in a way um, where some of these creatures were just like, sorry, they're in your home, they're dead now. Nothing you can do about it, sorry. Um, which in a lot of old uh, mythos and stuff that people would tell make up these creatures to kind of explain the unknown before they could have actual answers about why things were or why they happened um so it's it's definitely a, it was definitely a lot of fun learning and learning more of the things i didn't already know about and learning uh about the creatures that i'd never heard of or had forgotten about in a long time it was very, it was really good storytelling, uh, especially with like the sound effects. I really like the fact that they had individual voices of individual people uh, for these phone calls. It wasn't just purely reading and then rah, 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 rah. it was actual speaking. So you can get the tones of the uh, the situation where some people were just calling confused and you know, they're like, what's going on? And then people who were actually sound like they were terrified about what was happening in their home. So that was nice uh, to kind of invoke the feeling of what was actually happening and put you really in the mindset of being there, uh, taking their calls and trying to figure out how to help them. I haven't really played a lot of these uh, text-based kind of scrolling through and deciding a lot of my uh, playthroughs have typically either been point and click or action first person. Uh, but this was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. If you uh, know about any other games that are similar to this style and you want me to check them out, go ahead and leave a comment and tell me uh, what you think I should do. And um, I really liked the yeah, the audio was really good. I really liked the art style. It kind of it really lent itself to the storytelling and the kind of semi mystery of what you were looking at in some of the images. Um, the gameplay was very smooth. Uh, the only things I, I didn't like, unless it was meant intentionally, was the adding of long sequences between phone calls and waiting for people to make the call. Um, I would like the ability, potentially, to find out what the appropriate answers were to some of my questions. Because I didn't always get 100%, and I would like to know what I got wrong and what the right answers were, so that I could, I don't know, better understand the individual circumstances of these stories, because some of the answers there could have been one or one or two different potential solutions i think it's like less than 15 dollars on steam which is pretty good price for the game the amount of production value that went into this is pretty uh pretty amazing for the price and then that weird little music video at the end totally kind of it was it was a nice um transition from the kind of fear and confusion of the ending and what was actually happening in the story and then they end it with the silly little music video that just kind of it it left me speechless because I wasn't really sure what was happening and how I should feel about that but it did did make me feel like uncomfortably happy if that makes sense and uh you know if you had fun don't forget to give a like and uh just subscribe so you know the next time I put something out and we can enjoy another little fun horror storytelling together
And uh, if you hear any strange noises in the night that you can't identify, things go missing in your home, or you're experiencing bizarre, awful smells you can't identify, you might just need to call the home safety hotline, because operators are standing by. And in the meantime, you have yourselves a nice everything. Bye. Mason, no talking.